So let's get into it. What is open space? Open space is the fastest and simplest way to document your job site. The process is simple. You'll walk around the job site with a 360 degree camera that's controlled by a mobile device. You'll then upload the video file to our cloud servers where we analyze it and place it onto a floor plan and then view the captures after the fact. So let's actually walk through these demo sites and give you a feel for you know, how to talk and speak to open space. Again, you will be given these demo sites to bookmark. Um, so we're first just gonna walk through how to move around open space. So this site is in Miami, beautiful. And as we can see here, I'm using my mouse to drag around the job site. So very, sim very similar aesthetically to Google Street View. And there are a few ways that you can move around the job site and view your captures. So at the very bottom, you'll always be able to see the date when this capture was taken. You can always use these arrows to go to the previous capture from exactly where we're standing and then really see that progress. So I can go after May 1st as well and see May 14th. My favorite way to move through the job site on open space is through this mini map, top right hand corner. You can drag down on the bottom or top right hand full screen mode. And in green, we can see that this is the walking path taken for this specific day. So here I can select where I'd like to travel to and quickly be taken to that area. I can look up, look down side by side. There's also a play button at the very bottom. So the camera takes a picture every half second. Here, this play button is where you can go and use the frame selector. So if perhaps you're in a fuzzy space and you need to go to your next frame, or a lot of construction safety managers will actually click on these three dots here, control the speed, press play, and then pause if there's something that sticks out. So very straightforward, but just to give you an idea, there are different ways that you can move through the job site. I do recommend you know, expanding this mini map view and then selecting where you'd like to travel to. On the left-hand toolbar, if I hover over captures, I can see a sequential list of all of the captures that were taken on this project. You have the ability to filter by sheet or capture type. You also can give specific customized names to each capture. So it looks like this job site has done it by unit, uh, but you can also do it by milestone, pre-pour, post-pour, uh, progress walk, you name it. And then you'll be able to filter up at the top. So that's navigation. We're now gonna jump into a new demo site. And I'm gonna talk through one of my favorite features, split view. So I'll show you how, to, how I got to this view right here. I'm gonna X out. Um, right above the zoom in button on the bottom right hand corner, it kind of looks like a book or a window. It says split view. If I click on this button, our view is cut in half. So I can change the date on either the left or right hand side. If I go to the next day on the right, I can see that the concrete was poured. So I'll lock my center lockbox and be able to have this nice side by side comparison. So this, you know, it speaks for itself, but it's valuable in so many different ways. Um, one, by being able to, of course, showcase your progress, uh, being that single source of truth, and also helping with your project schedule. If you can't remember when something was installed, use this to your advantage. So this is split view here. Next, I'd like to walk through a couple other key features of open space, field notes and the BIM viewer. So we'll first talk about field notes. Uh, these icons right here in red and black, um, as well as on the mini map right here in green, black, red, and yellow are field notes. So field notes are a light quality control tool. Um, they're incredibly collaborative and they can be taken directly on site with or without your camera or behind a computer or on your mobile device, even if you're not on site. So if we're looking at this field note right here, uh, we can see that it covers the basics, a 2D photo, where it is on the, on the floor plan. You can give it a status by priority, alert people that are on this project, associate tags, and so on. On the left toolbar, if I click on field notes, we can see all of the field notes that have been created on this project. And we can go to a specific one. So here we can see that there was a lighting issue, please check connection and resolve flickering. Um, field notes can be taken directly while you're capturing, as I mentioned earlier. So if you're on site and you have a camera on top of your head, 
uh, and you're taking a capture, let's say there's a, there's a, a crack on the window. Uh, you might need to document an issue or alert someone. You'll simply pull out your mobile device and in the OpenSpace mobile app, press field note. Um, you'll then take a photo. If you have time, fill out any of these fields or use voice to text to quickly add in a comment and then it'll upload right away. So this is great for your QA, QC workflow and it also integrates with tools like Procore, BIM 360 and soon to be plan grid. Uh, but essentially, it's just a really wonderful day, way to be able to document all of your issues and host it in open space. You can create a field note report, maybe for a, a biweekly subcontractor meeting, um, and you can just simply filter for what you're looking for, whether it be all of the field notes that you've created on a specific level, um, all of your field notes with specific tags, and then after you click request report, it comes straight to your inbox. So. You can take a field note directly on site, or you can also take a field note behind your computer. So this is great for folks in the office who really just want visibility and have questions on specific items. So to take a field note, you can simply press this plus sign top corner and wherever you select, it will take a field note, take a screenshot, and then you can add in a description, give it a status, due date attachments. You can even mark it up and swap out your photos. Click, click save, and then it'll save right away. Field notes are fantastic. Really great collaborative tool. Next, we'll go through the BIM Viewer. So OpenSpace has an integration with Autodesk Construction Cloud. So what that means is any 3D model that you have of your project, you can upload that into the OpenSpace settings. And then after you have at least one capture, um, you'll press this BIM viewer button, and then you'll be able to see the side-by-side -side comparison of where your project currently stands and the final design. So this is a really great way to verify work in place and also be able to give visibility to your project team on what's being installed and uh, just making sure that everything is being built as it should. So it'll load up the coordinates, and here we can just walk through this great side-by-side -side comparison of being able to you know, understand where we are and, and what's being built. You can use this left-hand map here to travel, and then your right-hand BIM viewer will follow along. So here are just a few, you know, a few demo sites here that I've walked through, but really just wanted to give everyone the ability to understand how to move around open space, uh, different tools that you can take advantage of. And, you know, as you learn more and more, you'll develop more use cases and be able to speak to different